Alrighty. Good evening, guys. Uh, when we last left off, we just caught Togetic, and uh, here's the issue. Togetic was way under leveled, and I went and I, I did a bunch of grinding, and once I grinded him up, I realized that I had a bunch of other issues in the team, and the team has a ton of issues, and we cannot do anything about that because of uh, just the fact that we don't have an encounter until we get down into uh, Blackthorn City. We don't have anything we can really do until then. We have, uh, yeah, kind of a fragile team when you look at it. I almost want to put Dawn Fan. So, I, I, what I should really be doing is what I should be showing you what I've done. So, remember Dumbo the Panfy? Well, Dumbo the Panfy is now a Dawn Fan. And it has decent attack, I would say. But one other thing you may not have seen is Geodude. So the dude we have leveled up from a level 6 Geodude into a level 35 Graveler. His moves are nothing special, but his defense level plus his good attack is going to make him absolutely amazing in my opinion almost a better viable option than Dawn fan maybe hard to it's hard to say at this point probably actually um, we're gonna keep Dawn fan though in our back pocket just in case we ever end up needing him so we're gonna deposit Dawn fan back in we did level him up um, pretty high, so he won't be too hard to level up if we ever need him, which is fine. We're gonna bring back her alligator into the team. Hmm, did I leave an experience share on him? Better check to see if I left the experience share on him. We certainly did. We left the experience share on him. Now let's deposit him back. And this is the team we're going to be going with. I'm very tempted to teach Togetic something better. I do have a few TMs that are have been burning a hole in our... Let's put Croc at the beginning of the party. Uh, that should give us... Him, it should give him some decent experience points. We're gonna go through the ice path. Path full of ice. And it should be a decent time, I'm imagining. It shouldn't be too bad of a time. I don't really remember all the puzzles in here or what I need in here, so hopefully uh, we have everything we need. It should be all be fine. I mean, I'm hoping to get to Blackthorn City by the end of this episode. Well, not by the end of the episode. I'm hoping to beat Claire and get through the trials and whatnot by the end of the episode. So there's trash wild encounters in here. As you may recall from last time, the wild encounters in this place are trash. And we do not really want to deal with that at the moment. We'll just keep running. And we have our first ice puzzle, and I feel like there has to be something interesting, maybe an item we can potentially get. No, there isn't. Oh, we. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, did I mess? I messed it up somehow. Some way, shape, or form. Okay. First one, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth. Wow, okay. We get here. Here, okay, there we go. Bit of a brain teaser, boys. Okay, so we have a item here.
How do we attain this item, guys? I'm starting to feel like an idiot. There we go. HM07. Oh, that's... Where... What? What HM is that? Waterfall. Oh, so that's where Waterfall is. Is that really where Waterfall is? Is that really where that is? I feel like that's us. That's not even close to where Waterfall is. I guess we're... <laughs> I can't even remember, honestly, at this point. I cannot remember if that's where Waterfall is or not. Okay. We have some nice strength puzzles coming up here. Fabulous. I love strength puzzles. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, no one knows it. No one knows strength, so let's let's make someone know that. And I think a good person to make strength available to would be the dude. Because the dude has some... Let's say Harden, which is not a very good move. So let's do that. Now the dude can move boulders around, and now we can... Boulders moving. And some rocks into the holes. We want that rock to go on into there. That's definitely not how you do that. Let's not pay any attention to that, actually. Let's just go on for our next rock that we should probably get inside the... Oh. Mario has to come down this side here. Let's keep going. Let's go here. Go around. And down. And then into the hole. Boulder fell through. So where does this boulder need to go? Oh, up there. So let's go to the left. Yeah, that's right. It's weird. Go down there, and up, up. I definitely messed that up. Let's, let's reset. Let's reset. Oh, there's a max potion here. But unfortunately we cannot carry any more items, so let's make sure we get rid of something. I mean, a red apricorn, we don't really want that. Take the max potion. All right, let's try this again. Let's go back. This is easy to push into the hole there. Okay, that's first one. God. Our first one's there still. Okay, so the other one is also there. Okay. That's fine. Get into this. Okay, so we need that one to go into there. So all we have to do is push... Okay, yes, boulders can be moved. Put it here. Up one. There, we leave it exactly there. Okay. We've already moved this boulder. We've already done... Have we done that one? Yes, we've already done that one. This means we need to go over here, and we need to... one over, and down. Perfect. Now this last one is interesting. Let me just take a peek. Okay, so... We go... Now it can be moved from above. We're not going to touch it. And we are going to... Oops. <laughs> We're going to push it down there. So that should be every boulder. Every boulder should be in here now. Be no problem at all. Wonderful. And we get a full heal out of the deal. That's not a bad deal. Honestly, I mean...
Alrighty, well... We'll heal up, I don't even think we need to heal up. But I know, I know right away that we're completely ready. We're 100% ready for this gym. So we're gonna go on and take it on immediately. And first gym trainer. Now, supposedly the Dragon Gym, and we'll see what exactly uh, they have in store for us. Probably another bunch of dragons. We have a Smoochum. Pretty good. We have a Croc, though. Which is also pretty darn good. Let's see what a Bite do can do, and we can do a super effective hit. And we get the Flinch. Croc. I'm so glad we have Croc. And then we have artillery. I think with artillery, let's see what we can do with a bite. Not doing much, but if we get the flinch, and if we try that again, who knows? I don't think this artillery has much in store for us. Oh, it's Ivy. Okay. Again, not doing very much damage at all. I'm not too afraid of this at all. I think we're just gonna keep going for the bite. Maybe we'll get a flinch here. We won't. But we're not in crit range and we can safely take this thing out without sending in somebody else. Oh, a ratata. A ratata. Well, I don't think we have much to fear here. I mean, they got Hyper Fang, maybe, at level 34. Um, that could definitely be a possibility. But it's weak. And it's not gonna survive. So, we have that going for us, don't we? Let's just take off down the hill and re heal ourselves. And jump right back into this gym. And I, as I recall, this gym requires strength puzzles and probably isn't very difficult. And then after this gym, um, we have the Dragon's Den. Uh, we're playing Crystal version, so we definitely have Dragon's Den to contend with. So here we have this. We might as well just beat all the trainers in this gym before we start messing around with the puzzles. Alright. Skip Bloom. Okay, let's get out of there on that, actually. And let's see, let's see what Grace can do in a battle. I mean, Grace is part of the team, it's gonna have to participate, so let's see what we can do. Oh, and we get Sleep Powdered immediately. Maybe we can wake up? Oh, and now we get Cotton Sport immediately, hey. I don't know if it can do a lot to us in damage. Just gonna keep using Cotton Spore. I guess it has nothing really that it can do to us. Let's just use Fly again, I suppose. And there'll be an easy clap for Grace. I mean, Grace deserves an easy clap. Some screen time for Grace. Not a big deal. And we missed. We missed speed. Oh, okay, so it does have Bleak Speed. Alright, there we go. Hit that sleep powder. Decent amount of experience. And a decent amount of money for winning that. Cool. And we have another trainer up here. Let's do it. Let's do it. We are quite under leveled, in all fairness, for this uh, particular gym battle. I mean, it is level 40 cap, which is, it is what it is. Well, this is a good chance for Magnum to jump in here and grab a sweet, easy Weekum kill, which should be a decent amount of XP. I don't think this will kill it though. 
I don't think we kill it. No, wow, uh, it, no, it just has. Defense has fallen... What? Next attack from it might be a little scary. Oh, it's just going for a rain dance? Well, it messed up on doing that. It should have just attacked us. Croc getting to level 34, which is always good. And a Snorlax, which is not a good scene for us. Let's go with the Poison Powder. With the Belly Drum. I love how it's da 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 I didn't realize that Belly Drum made that sound effect in this game. That's kind of hilarious. I don't know exactly what I should be doing here. I think perhaps we should go to the dude. The dude has high defenses. And probably take whatever it's going to do to us. Whoa. I think we... Poison stall? Hmm. Here are defenses here. 84, 85. You have to do it at 101 defense and it traveled there. I guess we go to Kingdra? I know we I don't know if it would have been faster than Snorlax with him, but I know Kingdra should be faster. And Kingdra should, by all means, survive this headbutt. Doesn't. That is filthy. Good thing we have uh, Dawn Fan. Okay, okay. We're getting tested. The croc should be quite a bit faster, and this should probably take it out. If it doesn't, God help me. <laughs> God help me if this does not take it out. Oh man, this could be horrible. Please live it, croc. Please live it. Oh my god, man. So we just got... We just got wrecked. We just definitely got frickin' wrecked. Horrible. Horrible, really? Let's get the freak out of here, man. Oh my gosh. I guess there's encounter in this water. This could be Blackthorn City encounter, so I guess we might have to... We might have to do that. I guarantee we have to... Oops. I guarantee we have to do that. As we just lose two of one of... Two of our best Pokemon. I mean... Not good. Um... Croc and the King... Are gone. We're doing this. Okay. So Croc is gone, and the king is also freaking gone. Whew! Okay, I think we... Oh, we have no choice here. We're gonna put Dumbo in the team. And Cleffa also has to come along. What we have to do. I cannot believe we lost... Like, we lost two of our strongest pokes. In, in an instant. I mean, that's just how... That's just how freaking easy it is. To lose them. So I say we go for the water here. And we see if we can... Potentially dig up something a little better than what we have. Oh, that's right. Without... So, without... 
Kingdra, and without her alligator, we cannot do Surf. No one. Okay. Let's go back to the box. Hopefully I have someone that can do this. If I don't have anyone that can do Surf, I mean, I could guess I could fish out of that water. But eventually we will need someone, uh... We can do it. Oh, I don't have anybody. Okay. <laughs> okay. I guess we gotta fish out of this water. And then we really have to figure out what we're gonna do uh, to get into that water later on. I mean, hopefully we could fish up a water type. I hope. We only have the good rod. Is there someone with like a super rod in this town? Maybe there's someone with a super rod in the town. That's all I can hope for. No, you don't. You definitely don't have one. I guess there's the route leaving the city as well. We can check that sucker out too. Move the leader. So we're not gonna worry about move the leader. I swore there was a fishing guy here somewhere. Better than nothing, guys. Let's just use it. And we got a bite immediately. Immediate bite. Can't complain about that. Ooh, we get an Umbreon. Now that is pretty cool. Poison it. It'll poison it, it'll take damage slowly that way, and then while it takes slow damage to that, we'll throw some Ultra Balls and Greet Balls at it. Oh! Easy! Easy cap! Are you kidding me? Alright. I'm just gonna call him Soul. Just just cause it's just first thing that came into my head. Let's do it. Okay. We're gonna need some of the no surf though. This is extremely awkward, not having a water type at all. Let's try. Up here, so we got Smurgle. Gengar. Okay, a Kabutops can learn Surf, I believe, right? Let's go with the Poison Powder and the Great Balls. And we'll catch it eventually. No, we won't. Not gonna capture. Two, three. Capture! Okay. We're not even gonna nickname it because it's just literally gonna be our Surf Slave, so let's just call it Surf. Let's get in here. Okay, I think we're ready to go. We're ready to take it on. Hope we are, at least. So let's try and do a bit of this strength stuff. So first of all, obviously we have to move this boulder up. We're gonna move this guy down. Here we had another little boulder thing going on over on this side. One last gym trainer before we get to jump into our battle here. So that sounds great to me. And we got cool trainer Lola rocking a Zatu. Not bad. Uh, bad things can happen here, so I think we will go to the dude. The dude should have a decent chance at KO in this thing. Goes for the Leer, which is nice. Let's just go for our Rock Throw, and hopefully get some intense damage on this thing. Pretty good. Very good, actually. And if it's just gonna keep going for Leer and failing, an easy clap for the dude.
Hitmon top. Okay. I think we do Grace in this situation. I'm glad it went for the counter. Might as well try to do a sweet kiss or a status move here of some sort, just for fun. Get that confusion in on it. And then we can we can probably easily get in the fly here. And I was just gonna try to go quick attack again, so I guess we have it pretty much late. See what that can do. Doesn't even do half. Well, that's alright. Let's just try to go for a counter there. I love how we don't get the kill. But we got him. So, I guess it doesn't matter. Decent XP. Make sure that I have my fastest poke at the front. Let's see who's fastest. Damn, this team is slow. Is Meganium the fastest? Seriously? Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. The Dragon... Dragon Master. The Dragon Master Claire, probably using some other types, as far as we know. <laughs> He's the Dragon Master. But... Alright. We got a muck to deal with right at the beginning. So this is gonna be... A... Not a good time for that. Let's go for the dude. The dude should be able to wall some of its stuff that it has, it's already hardening up. It's fine. Go for a magnitude. Magnitude 8. Magnitude 8 should do some hefty damage. It certainly does, okay. I'm gonna keep pounding, it's not gonna get anywhere on us. And magnitude 7. Will 100% kill this thing. Just grand. Okay, so we got Tangela coming in. We need to kind of run from that. I think we can run to Grace. Grace should be able to kind of wall what this thing has to throw at us. I'm not 100%, but should pretty much wall what comes at us. If we can go for a... okay, we're getting binded. Binded right away. And the sweet kiss didn't affect it, so that is fantastic. I think we all only get stun spored. As long as we don't get paralyzed midair here. And we do. Now we're whipped by the vine. Come on, do not get paralyzed midair on me. Okay, there we go. And we don't get much damage after all. I think we really need to get this sweet kiss. And we do. Fabulous. We get released from the bind on the same turn as long as we don't get paralyzed here. Get the nice confusion. Hurt yourself again, why don't you? Beautiful! This thing's almost done for. I don't really want to keep Grease in super badly. I think just to kind of finish it, let's go for... Oh. Of course it gets confused no more as soon as we bring in Fairy. Let's try the Sing. We're gonna live this one. As long as we can get the Sing to put this to sleep. Oh, we don't. We don't live it at all. Great. We lost Grace. Oh, we're gonna get blinded. 
We're gonna stun spore this thing right back at it. And then we're gonna pedal dance. Because it's it's still a strong move regardless. It's not super effective, so. Oh, we totally got this. Chucky, Chucky just comes through in the end. Lost Cleffa for no reason. I don't really care though. I don't really want Cleffa. Umbreon's replacing Cleffa immediately. Just saying. Alright, now we have a Meltank to contend with. Which may be an issue. I say we stun Spore. And we can potentially get a nice... Oh, we're confused. We're hurting ourselves. That's not good. We're gonna get swept. We're gonna get swept. Please hit your move. Come on! You couldn't hit your freaking move. Oh, thank god it missed. Thank you. This is nerve wracking as hell. Oh, this isn't good at all either. On pedal dance. One more should take it out. I'm gonna hit by one more rollout, we're gonna live that. One more pedal dance should take it out. Yeah, okay. That's quite lovely. <laughs> good, good experience from that as well. Okay, Blossom. One more grass type. I think we gotta go grass on grass battle. And we're gonna get pedal dance. Oh, that's gonna do very little. Okay, we got poison powder in our back pocket. I think we do that. It's not gonna affect. That's fine. As long as we can get one of those in eventually. Ball, is, he, are you, is he immune? Screw it. Body slam it is. Oh, look at that, we get the Paralyze! Okay. And we get... Okay, hurts itself. Oh, it's trying to stun for us now. Okay. We're so close. And the stun spore doesn't get us again. Wow. That's kind of insane. So Claire has used her Hyper Potion. Got two free hits on this. And we finally get hit by the stun spore. Alright. We're still faster. I'm just going to try and do the pedal dance game on us again. Alright. I'm going to live one of them for sure. Now I think we might be... Oh, it got fully paralyzed, guys! It got fully paralyzed! Nice. Freaking nice. Okay, so we're gonna have to go down to the Dragon's Den now. Fantastic, I'm alright with that. Get the hell out of this gym. And we're gonna have to release Cleffa, which... is no skin off my back, honestly. So let's get ourselves all healed up and ready to go, and we will just... Deposit, or I should, should I say, uh, release. Left, hold on, I just want to make sure she doesn't have an item. Because if she has an item, that's some very unfortunate stuff, and we do not need to waste items. Okay, no, she doesn't. Where's the experience share? Nobody has the experience share, I guess. Okay, we're gonna get rid of Fairy. Goodbye. And we are gonna gain our Surf because that's literally all we can do at the moment. We're gonna hop on into 
The Dragon's Den. Ooh, the Dragon's Den. Hey, actually. Hmm. Oh, Dragon's Den. It definitely counts as an encounter zone, so. That is perfect. I wonder what exactly we can find in here. And we get a trainer in the first instant second. Awesome. Why not? We have nothing good against ice. We literally have everything crappy against ice. But it decides to go for a mist, so I guess we don't have to sh we don't have to sweat too much on that one. Cool. We have encounters in here. Do we? I don't know if I fight all the trainers. We might. That's our encounter. We get a Pidgeotto as an encounter. That is a little crappy. But I guess we gotta get it. Nice. We got a bird. That kinda sucks. We do have some trainers in here. I guess we should probably face them. Let's just face them. Let's face our trainers. Uh, Deli Bird, we go for the dude. Nice rock throw. Take him out, and a nice magnitude. We'll take out this Raichu. Oh, hello, Magby. Prepare to get magnitude. Seven, you're dead. Totally dead. Alright, I don't think I'm gonna face any more of the trainers, because I do not want to run into something that's absolutely... Like, I need to run into something that's gonna destroy me. Let's get rid of an item. Oh, we revive, I guess. Might get a max elixir, that's definitely better to have. Okay. We need to teach our beloved Surf Whirlpool as well. Can we please learn it? Okay, good. Let's get rid of Harden, and we're not even going to use him in battle anyways. We can definitely just use Whirlpool. And keep going. Okay, here we go. So this is where we meet... This is where it differs from Pokemon Gold Silver. We have this little scene here where we talk to these, I don't know, sages or masters. So we have to, what kind, what poke, what are Pokemon to you, friend? Helps you to win battles, raising, and what kind of trainer do I wish to be? Anybody. What's important, most more, most more, raising. Um, Love? Strong or weak? Uh, both. I see. You care deeply, very commendable, that's important, but don't lose that belief. I'll see you throughout the Pokemon League. Okay. So I guess we answered all those questions correctly. So we passed, and Claire is absolutely shook. You're so shook! So we're gonna get, we're gonna end up getting this badge here. Rising badge. Freaking awesome! And... We also get something else I think, right? Something else. Come again if you so desire. Okay, never mind. We don't get anything else. Wait, oh, here we go. We got our TM24, Dragon Breath. And it has nothing at all to do with her breath. Do 
beauty. Let's get the hell out of here. Can we get out of here this way? Well, we can find a dragon fang, though. If we still had a dragon type, that'd be pretty awesome, but we don't. Let's get rid of something else. Let's get rid of our... Protein, let's just give that to the dude and make him all the more stronger. Let's head out of this place and head back down the route that we were about to go down a second ago. Get all the way out of here. Professor Elm wants to see us. I say we go see him. Down we go to the... Actually, first of all, what I want to do is get rid of our Surfmon. Because he's not really needed. I thought that guy was going to give us something cool. But he gives us nothing. So, enough of that. Let's deposit our Surfmon. And let's pick up... Here's what we're going to need to do is pick up Soul. And we'll give Soul the experience share, and hopefully we can get Soul some well-deserved levels all along the way to make it worthwhile. All right. So we're gonna try not to skip too many trainers on the way down. But I do want that easy XP. Oh, look, there's a way down this way. Oh, that's the way into Dark Cave. We already wasted the Dark Cave encounter way earlier in the game, so we don't need to even mess with that. Here's a trainer. Hello? What is your battle strategy? I don't know, it needs to be better, that's for sure. After this episode, we certainly know that. And the cool, perfect, perfect matchup. Perfect matchup for the good old Magnum. And a Blastoise, another perfect matchup for the good old Magnum, isn't it? Oh, Magnum, you're just gonna be able to defeat everything on this road? Cool. I'm okay with that. I feel like I'm gonna miss some item or something. Well, here's a dude. Let's do this. Come on, dude. Black Belt Kenji with a Krabby. Another one for Meganium. And we're getting Soul to level 21. That's good. Gonna have to do some more grinding for Soul. Nugget. I wish I could catch the Articuno, but I cannot. Another revive, which we don't need. Let's see what this guy can do. Timothy. Let's throw in the dude. What the magnitude. Can we not keep flinching on that? Come on. Magnitude 7! And it doesn't even kill. How do you like that? That's your strength. And a Blissey! Hmm. What the rock bro, because physical attack should do a decent amount. It does do a decent amount. Oh wow, it kills it! Wow, man. The dude is awesome, guys. I love the dude. <laughs> he gets me through a Blissey fight. Wow. Wait a sec, like Route 46. We got Poison Cure Berry, and the backpack's full.
Let us get rid of something else, I suppose. A revive we can toss. And we'll get the regular berry, which could come in handy possibly. And also possibly not. Hmm. This is Route 46, so I it I may have gotten my roots mixed up there. Oh shit. Looks like we have a bit of a battle situation going on here. Come on, Chan. Oh, they're weak. They're super weak. Put a lot of grace and just one hit it. We got an item though. And some X speed, so we're not really gonna care about the item. We'll just blow by that battle. So oh, I did miss an encounter. Technically. I was already here in the first place at the beginning of the run. And I got mine there, so I guess I got the root numbers wrong, and we're not gonna get an encounter for the root up above. Oh, cannot use cut. How useful is cut later in the game? I'm not even gonna teach anybody it right now. I don't think it's necessary. Probably not necessary, honestly. I doubt it. The professor, Professor Elm has something to say to us, so let's see what he has to say. Research is going great. We get a Master Ball for free. As right here is a Route 27, so this is a fresh place for a brand new encounter, so I want to get one more encounter before we end the episode today. And I intend on getting it here in this water. Who knows what it's going to be? Hopefully it's going to be something epic. And it's a Parasect! Okay! Alright! Level 16. Mm -hmm. I guess this is what we get. We'll throw the Great Ball, and it's gonna break out, of course, because it's Parasect. It's so good, it's gonna break out of our Great Balls. That's how good it is, guys. Oh, and now we got paralyzed. Come on. Now we're getting first turn breakouts. Let's tackle one more time. Do not crit. Do not crit. Okay. Hey, Parasect, you're mine. Even though I don't want you, you're still mine. Apparently it's it's not it's not mine, apparently. Let's just go with the Ultra Ball. I can't believe such easy pokes are just busting out so simply. Okay, there we go. We're gonna call him Shroom. Might as well. Well. Okay. So this guy's gonna greet us to Kanto. And we're in Kanto. There's the Tojo Falls, so that's where we need to use Waterfall to get up there. Oh, well, you know what? You know what? I guess Tojo Falls is our last place for an encounter that hopefully is not trash. Don't be trash! Don't be trash! It's a, it's a Voltorb. What level is this? What level? Okay, it's, it's a Voltorb. You know, electric types are... That's honestly something that we kind of need. Let's sand attack it a million times, and let's try and wear down his health. Getting that sonic boom on us, so... Okay, that's pretty weak. I don't want to do anything too, anything crazy now, because it's going to be in critical hit range. Wow! 
This Voltorb, it's messing with me, man. It knows I want to have an, a, a decent electric type on this team, and it's not going to let me have it. There we go. Voltorb is captured. Well, he looks like a fake Pokeball, so we're going to call him Facade. And now we have a Facade on the team, which is pretty cool. Let's go on up this waterfall. What the hell just happened? Oh, I guess our HM slave does not know waterfall, so let's... Let's do that. Oh, no, he cannot learn it. Hmm. Who can learn waterfall? I know Gyarados can learn waterfall. Blastoise can probably learn waterfall, and he can probably learn all those other HM moves that we just saw. I think we... I guess we'll... we'll try to do that. Let's do the old pursuit, and actually maybe we should do the old not stay in and get destroyed. The Dumbo. Let's take a flail. Uh, let's take another flail. Okay. Well, we catch a Blastoise first turn. Whoa, look at us fly up that waterfall. Alright. Get a Tojo Falls. And now we're officially in Kanto. And we're gonna fight the first trainer. Just to see what we're dealing with here. Okay, so we're back in our level 30s. Let's throw in... We'll throw Dumbo in against this guy. Go for the takedown. Some big damage. Big damage. Oh, it's not big damage at all, boys. We're gonna get paralyzed. I think the dude is the right play here. Let me just go for the simple, simple rock throw. Crit hit. Not sure how needed the crit hit was. I guess we'll let Soul learn quick, quick attack. We'll take away the tail whip. Nice. Hitmonlee. The kicking Hitmonlee. Let's go back into Grace. Handle this pretty decently, right? Handle it okay. Oh my gosh, we get hit by a second one though. Alright. Oh, it kept going and crashed! And it doesn't really get hurt by that. But it does get one hit by a fly, which is kind of shocking. Here we just have Ditto. So, I think we just go into Magnum and take care of this. I think the proper thing is to spam Body Slam. Obviously, it knows that. That Ditto knows what to do. We do way more damage, though. However, it's faster. Hmm. Beat tie winner every time. Beat tie winner chicken dinner, boys. Oh, it's gonna try and synthesis on us. Wow. What a cunning ditto these. Oh, we got the paralyzed though. And now we're gonna get the easy clap. Nice. Well. Well. I see, I see. Alright guys. I'm not, I'm not to totally ready, not completely ready to take on what we're about to take on. I, I want Soul to gain a few levels first. So definitely we're going to be doing some grinding next episode, uh, next stream. 
We're gonna do grinding, and we're gonna make it through Victory Road. That'll probably be the extent of next stream. I know today was a bit of a shorter stream. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have a ton of time this week. But I'm gonna come up on a lot of time for the next few days, so the next few days should be a stream every day. And tomorrow's stream uh, should definitely be a pretty easy one. We just grind and we get through Victory Road, and then we have the Elite Four to contend with. And I can't believe we're at the Elite Four already. It feels like we've only been doing this for like a week. Um, but we're already there, so that's pretty amazing. I'm gonna save the good old game. Please, uh, leave me a follow on Twitch if you enjoyed this. And if you're watching this later on on YouTube, please give my channel a subscription. And leave a comment and like on the video. 